All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha, Kudash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, some uh, prophecy and news. Okay, uh, from Zero Head says uh, Iran, American soil is now within range of Iranian bombs. All right, uh, and this was published uh, the sixth, which is what yesterday. All right. Yes, it is. Okay. So it says, those who advocate pursuing a policy of appeasement toward the ruling mullahs as a means of changing the Iranian regime's behavior fail to understand that the more the international community will give the mullahs, the more Tehran will become belligerent and emboldened. One day, the United States Security Council voted in favor of lifting the arms embargo on Iran. For instance... The ruling mullahs unveiled a ballistic missile, all right, that can reportedly reach the United States, okay? A, a ballistic missile that can reportedly reach the United States. Um, and as we keep reading, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll find out some interesting things here, all right? It says here, the headline of a report by Iran state-controlled Afkar News read uh, in Farsi, American soil is now within the range of Iranian bombs. The report boasted about the damage that the Iran regime could inflict on the U.S. All right, and they went from not being able to develop, you know, like having to have the uranium enrichment cut to less than, what, 3% or so, all right, to now having bombs that can reach U.S. soil. Okay, now it says, by sending a military satellite into space, Iran now has now has shown that it can target all American territory. The Iranian parliament has previously warned the U.S. that an electromagnetic nuclear attack on the United States would likely kill 90% of Americans. And now you know what's interesting. I see. There was this article that came out four days ago. All right, hey, and this is even from the official website. All right, it says DHS combats potential electromagnetic pulse attack, potential EMP attack. This was published September 3rd. Okay, so they're, they're already, once again, they're throwing it out there. They, you know, they could potentially be an EMP attack because um, the coronavirus exposed the weak infrastructure of the U.S. grid to its enemies. Okay. And now in this article, we're hearing, all right, they're saying that, well, Iran has, has already made a statement that if, all right, <laughs> uh, 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 they basically hit the U.S. with an EMP, that could kill 90% of Americans, you know, so could they, could they, you know, could the U.S. set up a false flag EMP attack and then blame Iran for it? Who knows? All right. Now it says, uh, the report also threatened the EU, which... Vo <laughs> which voted in favor of lifting the arms embargo against Iran. The same type of ballistic missile technology used to launch the satellite could carry nuclear, chemical, or even biological weapons to wipe Israel off the map. And, and, and they, <laughs> they want Israel gone, man. That, that, that tension between the two of them is just, man, it's astronomical. So it says, um, hit U.S. bases and allies in the region and U.S. facilities, and target NATO, even in the far west of Europe. So they're not playing around, man. Okay? They're not playing around. As the scriptures say, let the weak say I'm strong. At this point, anybody who can develop, all right, nuclear uh, uh, missiles, all right, and, 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 you know, is able to get them, especially ICBMs, it, it's, it, they can do damage, man. Regardless of how big or small or bad your economy is or, whatever it may be, they can do damage, okay? Now, you should ask yourself, okay, for, for, for a long period of time, we, we haven't seen this much geopolitical uh, uh, war-like tension. So how come out of nowhere, all right, all these tensions are rising, okay? And one thing you have to keep in mind is these, these things are all happening, happening at the same time. The earthquakes, the pestilence, okay, the racial tensions, all right, all these things that have been taking place, and yeah, how wish I warned about it, man? Okay, so we are definitely in the time of prophecy, but you got to ask yourself, okay, so 
If you don't believe World War Three is going to happen, why are they every day is inching closer and closer? All right. And they look like they're getting ready for war. OK, so what's going on? Buying uh, arms, you know, uh, uh, defense systems, nuclear weapons, forming alliances, forming treaties, you know, certain uh, uh, allies getting weaker. You know, it's the Lord is setting the stage. OK. And. um Pretty much the point that I wanted to read is up here. All right, this just goes into, you know, some extra information about it. But um, let me see. <laughs> oh, let's read this. It says, at the peak of these appeasement policies towards the mullahs during the Obama administration, Iran was emboldened to public publicly harass the U.S. Navy, detained U.S. sailors, and imprisoned American citizens. Khomeini also repeatedly threatened death to America and death to Israel <laughs> and made incendiary uh, remarks about wiping Israel from the face of the earth in less than eight minutes. All right. In less than eight minutes. It says, as the international community gave the regime more, Iran intensified testing, firing, uh, test firing its ballistic missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads in an act of clear violation of United Nations Security Council Resolution 2231. All right. Now, let's get a, a quick precept. Okay, because like we said, man, this is all part of prophecy. Okay, and hey, whether you like it or not, you're going to you're gonna understand that it is prophecy. You don't got to like it, but you will know that it is. Okay, this is 2nd Esdras, chapter 15, starting at verse 27. It says, For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in, in them, for the Most High shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against them. All right, and that's going uh, mainly towards you two thirds, okay. And other other everybody else that gets caught up in that, okay. But um, the, one of the main plagues, all right, or the ultimate plague is going to be the, the the plague of those nuclear missiles. All right, it tells you in the book of Zechariah, if I'm not mistaken, the 14th chapter, the 12th verse talks about um, this shall be the plague. We're in the Most High is going to, you know, basically plague those that came against Jerusalem. And then it talks about their eyes melting in their sockets and their mouth consuming, their their tongue consuming in their mouth. What's going to do that? The, the fire from these missiles. So the missiles are a plague. Okay. Verse 28. Behold, an horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots. All right. And the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. So you're going to have these Arab nations getting involved. Why? Because the the World War Three. All right. When you read in the scriptures, it tells you that the Lord is going to gather them. My determination is to gather. All right. The heathen basically in the valley of Jehoshaphat. All right. Yahweh Shapat, the Lord's judgment. OK. Verse thirty. The point. It says also the Car uh, Carmanians, all right, which are which are the Persians or the Iranians, raging in wrath shall go forth as wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come, and join battle with them, and shall waste a portion of the land of us of the Assyrians. Okay. And the modern day Assyrians are who the uh, 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 America. Now, how do we know this is prophetically speaking? Because Ezra came on the scene okay uh, uh, uh after the assyrian empire okay the assyrian empire was 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 gone had already gone down see when you go all right we're going to come back to second Ezra 15 but when you go to i believe it's uh second Ezra 3 all right it says in the 13th year after the ruin of the city i was in babylon and lay troubled upon my bed and my thoughts came up over my heart and this is when he started getting those visions man so this is why it's important to know the history because you will understand that 2nd Ezra 15, when Ezra got this vision and he's telling us, remember, Ezra is speaking in future tense. What did he say? Also, the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth. That's a future action. All right. It says, uh, and with great power shall they come. Okay. And shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians, okay? And at this time, the, the Assyrians weren't in power anymore. 
So it's referring on to the modern day Assyrians, all right, which is uh, uh, America or Babylon the Great. All right, and now, as you can see in the title of the article, it says what? American soil is now, American soil, the land, okay, is now within range of Iranian bombs. And the scripture said what? They shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. So this is all uh, according to prophecy, man, and they're not going to stop here, okay? Look, the Lord is going to be wrapping things up. The Lord always does things, all right, multi-purposely, okay? So the Most High has everything set up perfectly, man. You know, he could, he could do something that could that could spark uh, uh, high preparations for World War Three, and while Jacob's trouble is taking place, you know that's getting that's the the World War Three is building to a boiling point, and right after, okay, or, or getting to the end of Jacob's trouble, it just pops off. But ultimately, the Lord does everything for a reason. As one prophecy is taking place, it's making way and setting up room for the next one to take place, okay, and everything is moving smoothly according to the plan. Of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So with that, I hope you brothers were edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.